In this video, we're going to solve the cubic equation x cubed plus x plus 1 equals 0 for real value x. So I think this is a pretty unique way of doing stuff. So we're going to substitute x being y plus z. So now we're going to find x cubed. So this will be y cubed plus 3y squared z plus 3yz squared plus z cubed. So you get that from foiling that out, y plus z times y plus z times y plus z. Or it's binomial theorem in Pascal's triangle from the coefficients, so 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay, so we're going to write this as y cubed plus z cubed plus, well, we have yz and yz and, and a 3, so we can factor out 3yz, and that'll leave us with y plus z. So something will happen that's pretty unique. So we have y cubed plus z cubed plus 3. I'm going to leave a space. So we have yz. And what is this? y plus z is x. That's our initial substitution. So we have 3xyz. So we have x cubed equals y cubed plus z cubed plus 3xyz. So that's pretty cool. So now we're going to plug this back in to this equation. It leaves us with y cubed plus z cubed plus 3xyz plus x plus 1 equals 0. And I'm just going to under highlight what part was the x cubed term. So now let's um, write this again. So y cubed plus z cubed. We're going to factor out an x because we have 3xyz and plus x. So we have plus parentheses 3yz plus 1 times x. And then we're going to move the 1 to the other side equals negative 1. And now, let's, because we have a function in terms of y and z, we, I know we have the x, but we have a function between y and z, and this is, in the parentheses, we have a function between y and z. Why don't we just let 3yz plus 1 equal 0? Well, what will happen is that y cubed plus z cubed, all this will be 0. So now we're going to have all this equals negative 1. So these are the equations now we have. And now we're going to find y and z, and then when we add those together, we get x. And that will be the solution to this problem. So now from this equation, we're going to get yz equals, so subtract so 1 from both sides, you get negative 1, and then divide by 3, you get yz equals negative 1 over 3. But now we're going to cube both sides. That'll leave us with y cubed times z cubed equals negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, over 3 cubed, which is 27. And now we have y cubed plus z cubed equals negative 1. So this is another system of equations, but in terms of y cubed and z cubed. So now we can just, subs just have z cubed equals negative 1 minus y cubed. We can do this for y cubed equals negative 1 minus z cubed, but you'll see why I it's the same thing. So now we're going to plug this value, plug this value back into here. So now we're going to get y cubed times negative 1 minus y cubed, right, from the z cubed term. And then that's equal to negative 1 over 27. So now FOIL this out, so this will be negative y cubed plus, no, minus, minus y to the 6th power, which is y cubed squared. And that's equal to negative 1 over 27. So now let's move all the negative terms to the right hand side. So now we're going to get y cubed quantity squared plus 1 times y cubed minus 1 over 27 equals 0. So now let's use the quadratic formula in terms of y cubed. So now we get y cubed equals negative b, which is negative 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4, times a times c, which is negative 1 over 27, all over 2. So what is this in the discriminant? So negative 4 times one, negative 1 is positive 4. And 4 times 1 over 27 is just 4 over 27, right? And now 1 can be written as 27 over 27. Because it's, a common denom because it's the same denom denominator, you just add the, the numerators up. So 4 plus 27 is 31. Okay, so you're going to get plus the square root, plus or minus the square root of 31 over 27. 
But now you take the cube root, only the positive branch because there's no, with cube roots you don't take the negative, so it's just the cube root of this, so that's equal to y. But if you do the same thing for z, you don't, we don't know which one's positive or negative, so like the plus or minus branch here. So let's just say y or z. So let's just say y comma z equals this. But y, so x equals y plus z, but you don't know which one's plus or minus. So this will be the cube root of negative 1 plus the square root of 31 over 27. So we're going to take the positive branch of the plus or minus, and then we're going to add with the other one. So that's the cube root of negative 1 minus the square root of 31 over 27 all over 2. And you don't have to worry about it being negative under the cube root because the cube root of a negative number is still a real number. So that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it.